Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today's a special day because Art Snacks has arrived early. Uh, the day of recording it is actually May 31st and this is in fact the June box. So it actually arrived yesterday but I didn't get it until late in the evening. So I haven't had a chance to open it until today. Um, I'm very excited. It sounds like we've got some interesting goodies in there. Sounds big. Like, whatever's in here sounds like it takes up about this much of the box when it shifts. And originally I was going to say it was paint. But it feels like a box. And I don't think this is weighted enough to be that big of a tube of paint anyway. So I honestly have no idea what could possibly be in here. Um, we just had a lot of brush pens, so I don't think we'd get another box of that. And if there's no paint, what's something large? A box of something small, I guess? Well, there's no use in guessing, so we'll just go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. I'm getting a visit from my cat. Hello, rascal in the window. How are you, buddy? No. No. No, you're not coming to say hi. You're not coming to say hi. And there goes my paintbrushes, because of course they do. He means well. Okay, crisis averted. Let's go ahead and open up and see what's inside. Oh, okay, it's a box. I was right about the box. Um... I know people are probably angry and don't like it, but I'm so excited. I I love pastels. I'm terrible at them, but I love them. Let's uh, see if we can get a close up of that. Eh, there we sort of there we go. Got it. Hey, you can see my camera. Hello, camera. So we have the Rembrandt Five Soft Pastel Half Sticks in Cool Greens. Interesting. Um, I've actually been getting a lot of these lately in uh boxes so i guess uh rembrandt's wanting to get everyone to play around with them which is fair because this is not a supply most people would go out and pick on their own they go ew they're messy they're hard to work with i don't like them and then they never try them so putting them in a subscription box is actually great because you might find out you actually like them despite the mess <laughs> and i mean it's just like a chalk so a little soap and water and you're all clean don't, don't, don't let them, don't be afraid. I'm going to put that off to the side so we don't see, I'll let you see it. That's too bright in case of that. Oh, the cat ruined my lighting. No, how could he? Oh, well, uh, hmm. Can I, can I block? No, it's, it's a huge window. I can't block it. I don't know why I would even try. Um, ooh, lollipop. Mystery flavor. I kind of have mixed feelings towards the mystery flavor. I don't know. I don't usually care for it personally, but we'll see. Um, so we'll put the box back there. Ooh, ooh, yay, lighting, you fixed. I love you. I love you, camera. All right, let's get into the bulk of the supplies. I think we'll get maybe, ooh. What are we gonna get in here to go with pastels? That's a the maybe a colored pencil, fine liner. I'm not sure. Blending stump. Oh, I bet there's a blending stump inside. That that would make the most sense. I always no, don't tear, don't you tear, don't you do it. I always save these stickers, and they go right on my desk here, and I'm just like trailing around the desk. It's kind of awesome. And then I save the paper. I know I mentioned this before. Um, I save the paper for my daughter. She loves green and papers, and this will end up absolutely shredded all over the floor later. Um, okay. Oh, 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 okay. Um, I'm going to butcher the word, but this is an artish chamoy, I think. is. I think that that's how you, the S is silent. I'm going to go with the S is silent. And this is a type of um, 
almost like a leather and you use it to blend so it's not a blending stump it's it's a piece of cloth leather cloth leather i'm gonna go with leather i believe it's a type of leather so that's to help blend your pastels out so we'll put that here we'll, we'll do oh you know what we'll do that that looks nice we'll do that and then we have three other things plus the sticker so we'll pull the sticker out and ooh, that's a really pretty one look at that it's very dark but i like it we'll put that over here with the menu and the candy and ooh, ooh, oh mechanical pencil you can never have too many of these i'm a little sad it's a 0 0.7 0 0.7 is not my favorite lead size i prefer a 0.5 but I will always take another. What the f? Oh, oh. You can you can change what? You can change the lead type. H B F H B two B. What the for how what how? That's amazing, and I don't know how, and I'm going to have to read up about that on the card here in a minute, because that's kind of crazy. Um, I'll go ahead and grab the next one. We have the Create a Color Mega Color in Indigo, so we're, we're really hammering down on the cool tones here. Um, I th I'm not sure if this is a colored pencil or if this is a pastel pencil. We'll have to read up about that one as well. And then, as a stark contrast, bye bye paper. We have an Edding 1200 metallic pen in. We're not going to get the color, but that that is clearly a shade of red, and then cap is shiny. Little cute little bullet tip. All right, that's weird that i feel like that doesn't quite mesh well with the palette that we got but we'll see what i can come up with um but there's a lot to read about here so let's uh let's get right into it we have the rembrandt soft pastels set of five the 9.95 retail which is like i said I've, I've gotten a few sets of these before um so this would be great to add to my collection uh, Rembrandt soft pastels have been the most commonly used pastels in the world for many years. This set of five compatible hues features intense, pure color, and the highest degree of light fastness. Due to being produced with kaolin, an extra fine clear china clay, these pastels have a velvety softness perfect for layering techniques. They are very soft. I do, do enjoy them. Um, okay, pencils next. The Zebra Zensations Graphics Technical Pencil. Uh, 685 for that one. Uh, with this pencil, you can expect precision, performance, and comfort. This tool is ideal for sketching and detailed technical drawings thanks to its narrow lead sleeve that works well with rulers and stencils. From drafting to doodles, its sleek barrel and textured grip lend great control. You'll also find a refillable eraser under the cap. Wow, there's an eraser. Hey! Look at that. Neat. Um, they didn't talk about this lead changing thing. Oh, oh, I get it. It's to let you know, um, like if you change the lead in the pencil yourself, you can mark what's in it. I would imagine. I think it was on H. I'm going to have to go back and check the video now to see, but I'm, yeah, I think it's an H. It feels pretty hard. Okay, that makes a lot more sense than my initial idea. Okay, next up is the Shimoy, which I'm gonna... Shimei? Shimi? Oh, it has a pronunciation. Okay, Shimi. Okay, let's try that again. We have the Royal and Len Nicole Artish Shimi. Weird. Uh, blend your new pastels with the Royal and Len Nicole, Royal and Len Nicole Artish Shimi. Shimi, pronounced Shimi. We're gonna say Shimi a lot in the US is a natural soft pliable oh is natural soft pliable and absorbent you'll find this leather ah it is a leather I was right about something okay awesome <laughs> can blend more smoothly than your fingers and won't leave smudge marks behind on your artwork 
hand wash the shimmy, I was about to say shimoy, shimmy, in lukewarm water and hang dry to clean. And then we have the, it is a colored pencil. Okay. Uh, lay down some, well, start at the top. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Uh, the Create a Color Mega, Mega Colored Pencil is a 265 retail. It is a new product. And lay down some major color with the Create a Color Mega Colored Pencil. This oversized, highly pigmented pencil can easily cover large areas in your artwork. It's extra thick, extra thick. Mm. It's extra thick, break resistant core, lasts three times longer than a regular colored pencil. Okay. And then the last one is the Edding 1200 Metallic Color Pen, 260 retail, and this is the staff favorite. Glamorous and versatile, the Edding 1200 Metallic Color Pen will add some shine to your artwork. Its iridescent water-based ink is extremely vibrant and works well on both dark and light surfaces. The soft round nib consistently delivers highly opaque and light fast color. Interesting. All right, so we have the on mix, the Take the Arts Next Challenge, which of course we will be doing. Overall, this is a, um, this is an interesting box. As I feel like other than these two work together and then these three work together, I feel like they don't play nice together. But again, that is just my opinion. And I may be pleasantly surprised here shortly. But uh, overall, an interesting box, nonetheless. I am very happy to have another mechanical pencil. Very happy to have more pastels. I know that's probably going to be fairly unique to myself, but hey, I'm glad people are getting to try new things, even if they might initially be like, I hate them. Um, editing is good. We've gotten some stuff from them before, and I always enjoy having anything like a metallic pen or marker um, they can be super fun to work with and a unique highlight to work. The colored pencil is, that's a chunky boy. Like, look, we'll see. That is a chunky pencil. Look at that. Oh my God. Um, you know, I was just thinking yesterday, oh, my pencil sharpener, hold on. I've been doing a lot of colored pencil art and this is the pencil sharpener I've been using. Um, but I never used this big hole here and I was like, I, why, why do they even make that? I've never even seen a pencil that would fit in there. It guess what? Just, you now have a pencil that fits in there. So now that's no longer useless. So there's that. Anyway, we're going to have to get into swatching. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of research and see what the paper in the plus box was this month. I'm going to guess a pastel paper of some kind, but I may be surprised. They've done that to me in the past. Um, and we'll get back to here to do some swatching here in a few minutes. Well, a few minutes for me, instantaneous for you, through the power of YouTube video editing. All right, let's get started. All right, getting right on into the swatching. Um, I did not have the black watercolor paper that was included in the Art Snacks Plus box or anything comparable. Um, but instead of going with watercolor paper, I wanted to go with a toned or black paper. So I wasn't sure exactly which I wanted to do. So I pulled out a sheet of black paper as well as a toned gray. Funny enough, I actually used the wrong side of the gray paper and I was gonna go back and redo it. And then I was like, well, I really honestly enjoy the black paper more. So that seemed like a waste of time and resources. So I just went with the black paper. It's a um, kind of like a mixed media paper. Um, so it's got a, a pretty decent tooth to it. And I liked how it looked, especially with that uh, red edding pen, so I went with that. Now, it actually took me a few days to decide what I wanted to do with those colors. I mean, they were just really hard to decide what I wanted, and I went through several ideas and went through several sketches and trial and error, and I finally decided on a betta fish. The colors just really spoke to me. And once I saw one and like just browsing through random things, I was like, that's, that's what I want. I think the pastels will suit the tail fins very well. The colors work really well. And I just went for it. So I used the pencil to sketch it out, used a kneaded eraser to lift up some of the graphite so it wouldn't be as in your face. 
And then for my trick, I went in with the red pen first, since I knew if I put the pastel f down first instead of the pen, it would clog the nib and it wouldn't look as bright and vibrant. So if you're gonna go that route and use them together, I would actually recommend using the pen first like I did. It worked out really well. And beyond that, I just used the colored pencil to add accents as I went along. And from there, just went with the pastels. There really isn't much to talk about this, despite how long it took me to do. Oh, hello, head. How are you? Oh, you're going to see my head a lot during this. I'm trying to adjust to the new setup. And if I lean in too much, you can see the top of my head. But... Eh, it is what it is. I have messy hair. I just usually throw it up in a ponytail or a bun and don't really mind what it looks like. Um, I think a lot of people are like that unless they're actually on camera camera. Like you can see their face while they're doing art. I think most people just want to be comfortable. I mean, even right now, I am literally in my pajamas as I'm recording this because fuck yeah, comfort. It's a awesome new shirt. Um, maybe I'll take like, a picture and share it on like Instagram or something. It's uh, it's from Target and I had to go and get some like diapers and some other medical supplies so it was like a necessary run. And it says it's a cream shirt and it says stay in bed in rainbow colors and I am all about that. Both the rainbow colors and the stay in bed. Um... So yeah, we got up on a tangent about pajamas and messy hair, and I love it. <laughs> um, I guess back to the piece for a minute. Uh, I really just kind of... I had a little bit of trouble with the tail, if I'm being wholly honest. I thought that'd be, like, the easy part. Um, but trying to make it so you could see that there's different parts of the tail and the top fin and it's all not just one giant blob of color it was actually pretty difficult and I had to like come back and wait and stare at it a minute and it, it came out nice I'm actually really happy with how it came out in the end which you'll see soon or in the thumbnail that's right there's thumbnails so you've already seen what it looks like I think it looks nice <laughs> but really just trying to use the first three colors not necessarily the dark ones as much because it kind of got a little lost so i almost treated it like a black but those first three colors were definitely the ones i used the most and just trying to get a differentiation in the value to really show just how different the pieces are was was difficult but a welcome challenge <laughs> um had to take a couple of breaks as i always do um, I went and found a blending stump since I wanted a little bit more detail than the chamois. I said it's chamois. Then the chamois could, uh, allow. I use it at the end to help blend out the edges to really kind of blend into the background well. But the blending stump was nice, uh, for the details. If you do not have a blending stump, I have a ton because I love charcoal and pastels, but I know not everyone would have one. A Q-tip um will work very well for what you need so just run into your bathroom or wherever you guys keep your q-tips if you have them and you can use those to uh blend out in detailed areas so there's a little cheat for you <laughs> but um oh what was i saying i totally forgot i like blank because i can hear my daughter in the background she's playing this video on her phone and when i say it's her phone it's it's an old one of our phones that she just likes to play with the buttons. It has it has no access to either um, a signal or a Wi-Fi or anything. That it, it's just basically a brick that she can move the icons around on. And she uh, she likes to take videos, but she doesn't know she's taking videos. And right now, it's a video of her just listening to my mother, her grandmother, calling a cat named Fluffy over and over and over again. I can just hear it in the background and I'm just like, oh god. This is probably like the 500th time I've heard that video. My husband actually wants to delete it and I'm like, no, it's annoying, but your daughter loves it. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, I have no idea where my train of thought was going at all. Oh, I remember now. Yes, I have to work in breaks because of her. 
Yeah, she distracted me from talking about her. How is that even possible? <laughs> but yes, you'll notice there's cuts in my video. Um, if she needs something or something happens, I'll have to stop what I'm doing, which is unfortunate when I'm doing something like um, oil paints or acrylic paints, which is why I don't get to do them that much anymore, because if I leave them, all I need is a cat to step on my paint or... It, it dries out and it's just already stopped in the middle of something that was blending and then it can't be blended anymore in the case of like acrylics so it was a few breaks but we tried to make them as clean as possible sometimes i had to go run for graham crackers or diaper changes or she tripped and fell and, or something crazy <laughs> yeah mom life it's fun um but pastels for the most part are actually fun to work with even with her um that's why I don't use my fingers much if I can help it and use use the blending stumps or a q-tip if you don't have it or the shimmy because um, I don't want to get too much of the pastel on my fingers because then it's like I get it everywhere if I have to like chase after her or I have to go wash my hands first but it's uh, it's important to note that you can wash your hands <laughs> I know people are like ew pastels they're gross I don't want to touch them and it's just like sidewalk chalk only for adults and you use it on paper, right? <laughs> so, um, the, uh, the, the cover I use on my desk, because my desk is actually dark brown, almost black, is a poster board. Um, so yeah, if you're worried about getting the chalk dust everywhere, just use a piece of parchment paper, a poster board, whatever you've got on hand and work on that and you can just toss or recycle what you end up working on or even erase it off because you can actually pick it up with a kneaded eraser or a regular eraser to lift the pastel dust off and um, that makes cleanup a breeze so if that's one of your big things why you don't want to try pastels I highly recommend just putting a piece of parchment or something down on your work area and using that to protect your surfaces so if you do that, you protect your desk, and if you use tools, your fingers don't get nearly as dirty, or you just wash them off, and you are good to go. I am a, <laughs> I am a big advocate for pastels. I, I, I just, every time I sketch a video or a post, and everyone's like, I don't like these. I'm like, no, give them a chance. I promise they're super fun. They're, they're, they're awesome. <laughs> so I, I will plead the case for pastels um, until the end of time. Even if I suck at them, I, I still love them. And then as a quick note at the end, when you're using pastels, don't be afraid to add a little bit in at the end after you've blended to add highlights and texture. You're actually going to see here in a second, I'm going to go for the eye to give it a little bit of life and I don't blend that because it adds texture and just oomph to your piece. So. Um, yeah, don't don't blend everything with pastels. I mean, unless you want that look, but uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we're wrapping up. Um, I rambled. It was fun. I hope you enjoyed the video too. Um, if you did, give it a like, thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. We're we're starting to grow, and that's exciting. I want to take a moment to thank my first few subscribers. You guys are awesome, and I hope I live up to your expectations. Thank you for placing your faith in me. And go ahead and leave a comment down below with what you did with your box. Uh, tag me on Instagram. Love to see what you did. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Have a good one.